Hello and welcome back to our channel. I'm Danish, and you are watching Iraqi Dinar YouTube channel. Hopefully you all will be fine. Let's start today. In recent news, a significant topic of discussion among Iraqi citizens, currency enthusiasts, and global observers has been the potential developments surrounding Iraq's economic landscape, particularly the much-anticipated updates related to the Iraqi Dinar and the Hydrocarbon Law. HCL. But before we dive into these updates, I want to share something valuable with you if you're interested in staying updated with the latest news and opinions on the Iraqi dinar, I recommend visiting juropinions.com. By searching for this site on Google, you can find all the latest news and dinar guru updates conveniently compiled on a single page. It's a great resource for anyone looking to stay informed. Let's get back to the matter at hand. One of the critical updates that have garnered attention recently is the situation surrounding Iraq's ongoing battle to strengthen the value of the Iraqi dinar, IQD. Despite efforts by the Central Bank of Iraq, CBI, and the government, the country continues to face challenges with the US dollar. Too many people in Iraq still prefer using the US dollar over the dinar, which poses a significant problem for the economy. This issue is persistent and won't simply disappear until the value of the dinar is closer to or even exceeds that of the US dollar. The moment the dinar surpasses the dollar in value, the demand for the dollar is expected to diminish significantly. This situation has become a focal point of discussion especially within the CBI. According to sources, there's a strong push within the CBI to address this issue head-on. The prevailing sentiment is that if Iraq doesn't take decisive action to increase the dinar's value soon, the problem will continue to cause economic instability. This weekend has become particularly important in Iraq as many speculate whether the CBI will finally make the move to raise the dinar's value. While there are no definitive answers yet, the chatter around this possibility is growing louder. Reports from reliable connections within the finance ministry and among contractors in Iraq suggest that significant decisions may be on the horizon. Let's hope that these rumors turn into reality and bring positive news for Iraq. But that's not all. There's even more exciting news on the horizon that could potentially change the economic landscape of Iraq entirely. Sources indicate that Iraq is ready and prepared for a major announcement that could have far-reaching implications. This announcement is particularly significant when linked to the hydrocarbon law, HCL, a critical piece of legislation that has long been in the making. The HCL is of paramount importance to Iraq's economy as it establishes the framework for how the country's vast oil and gas resources are managed and distributed. The proper implementation of this law could lead to substantial economic benefits for Iraq attracting foreign investment and driving national development. Here's where things get particularly interesting. According to sources, Iraqi authorities have fulfilled the key requirements associated with the HCL, signaling that they are ready to move forward with its implementation. This is huge news because the HCL is not just about oil revenue it's about setting the stage for a more transparent, equitable, and prosperous economy. The completion of these requirements suggests that Iraq is prepared to make an announcement soon, one that could significantly impact the nation's economic future and its relationships with foreign investors. Iraq is home to immense oil reserves, and the application of the HCL could unlock new opportunities for investment. Imagine the potential and new jobs could be created, infrastructure could be improved, and public services could see enhancements that directly benefit the lives of ordinary Iraqis. The HCL, if applied correctly, could be a game changer for the country, transforming how oil wealth is utilized and ensuring that the benefits of Iraq's natural resources are more evenly distributed among its citizens. But what exactly are these sources saying? First, they indicate that all necessary preparations for the HCL have been completed. This means that the groundwork has been laid for implementing this critical law, which has been a long time coming. Next, they emphasize that the timing of the announcement is crucial. The Iraqi government wants to ensure that when the announcement is made, it reaches all relevant stakeholders simultaneously, including the public, investors, 
and the international community. This strategic timing is important for managing expectations and ensuring that the announcement is received positively. The sources stress that the announcement will be made soon, so it's worth keeping a close eye on the news. But what are the broader implications of this? With the completion of HCL requirements, Iraq could see a significant increase in foreign investment. This means that companies from around the world could rush in to start operations in Iraq, leading to more revenue for the country. But the potential benefits don't stop there. The announcement might also pave the way for new agreements with other countries. For example, we could see partnerships in oil extraction, technology sharing and other critical areas that could significantly boost Iraq's economy. Let's take a moment to consider how the Iraqi citizens feel about all this. Are they hopeful for change? After years of conflict and economic struggles, there's a palpable sense of anticipation in the air. People are eager for improvements in their daily lives and this announcement could symbolize a new beginning for Iraq. What are some of the immediate changes we might see once this announcement is made? Better job opportunities, improved health care, and enhanced educational resources are just a few possibilities. The ripple effect of this could reach various sectors, bringing about significant and positive changes across the board. It's also important to acknowledge the challenges that may arise. While the potential for growth and development is enormous, so are the obstacles. Will the government be able to implement the HCL effectively? Are there risks associated with relying heavily on oil revenue? These are critical questions that need to be addressed as Iraq moves forward. It's essential for the Iraqi government to communicate their plans transparently to build public trust and ensure national unity. Transparency will be key in making sure that the public understands and supports the government's initiatives which is vital for the long-term success of these reforms. Another crucial point to consider is the current global oil market. Changes in oil prices can have a significant impact on how quickly investments flow into Iraq. Global market trends will play a major role in determining the pace and success of Iraq's economic recovery. As such, it's important to keep an eye on these trends and how they might affect the implementation of the HCL and other economic reforms. What can you do right now? The best course of action is to stay informed. Follow reliable news sources to catch the official announcement as soon as it's made. Engage in discussions and share your thoughts in the comments below. How do you think these developments will impact Iraq in the short and long term? Your opinions are valuable, and who knows? They might spark some important conversations that lead to greater understanding and insight. Let's hope for a bright future for Iraq as this major announcement approaches, and remember, knowledge is power.